December 21st, Experience or God's Revealed Truth We have received the Spirit, who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 12 My experience is not what makes redemption real. Redemption is reality. Redemption has no real meaning for me until it is worked out through my conscious life. When I am born again, the Spirit of God takes me beyond myself and my experiences and identifies me with Jesus Christ. If I am left only with my personal experiences, I am left with something that is not produced by redemption. But experiences produced by redemption prove themselves by leading me beyond myself, to the point of no longer paying any attention to experiences as the basis of reality. Instead, I see that not only the reality itself produced the experiences, my experiences are not worth noting unless they keep me at the source of truth, Jesus Christ. If you try to hold back the Holy Spirit within you, with the desire of producing more inner spiritual experiences, you will find that he will break the hold and take you again to the historic Christ. Never support an experience which does not have God as its source and faith in God as its result. If you do, your experience is anti-Christian, no matter what visions or insights you may have had. Is Jesus Christ Lord of your experiences, or do you place your experiences above him? Is any experience dearer to you than your Lord? You must allow him to be Lord over you, and pay no attention to any experience over which he is not Lord. Then there will come a time when God will make you impatient with your own experience, and you can truthfully say, I do not care what I experience. I am sure of him. Be relentless and hard on yourself if you are in the habit of talking about the experiences you have had. Faith based on experience is not faith. Faith based on God's revealed truth is the only faith there is.